I know that there are times when I should stay away from a dog, but what happens if a strange dog comes up to me when I'm playing? Do not run. Be a tree. Like a tree? Be a tree. Dogs don't bite trees, so if you stand still like a tree, a dog probably won't bother you. Ah, it's easy, kids. Just be a tree. Just stand straight and tall. Your body and legs are the trunk, your arms the branches, and your feet are the strong roots. So if an unfriendly dog comes up to you, stand with your roots together and branches folded under your chin. Look at the ground and wait for the dog to leave. Now you have to be very still since the dog may jump on you. Remember to be a tree that will not fall over. The dog will sniff you, and this might tickle, but trees do not laugh or scream, so stay very quiet and wait for the dog to leave. When you can no longer hear the dog, slowly look to see if it's still nearby. Once the dog is gone, walk away slowly and find an adult. Tell the grown-up about the dog that frightened you. If you're lying on the ground playing and a strange dog comes near to you, act like a log. Lie with your face to the ground and bring your roots together. Then fold your branches behind your head and cover your ears with your arms with your elbows on the ground. The dog may sniff you and this might tickle, but remember trees do not giggle or scream. So stay very quiet and wait for the dog to leave. As soon as the dog is gone, find a grown-up to tell them about the dog. But what if you want to make friends with a new dog? First, never go up to a dog without an owner. If you see a dog without its owner, stay away. So let's take a look at this picture. Do you see the dog's owner? Yes! Now look at the dog. Does the dog look friendly? Yes, it looks friendly. Its body's relaxed, especially its ears, and it looks like he's actually smiling. Is it obeying its owner? Is it my... Yes. Is it friendly? Yes. Now here's where the fun begins. Introduce yourself. Is the boy running up to meet them? No. Is the boy bouncing his ball? No. Can I pet your dog? Once you have permission, respect the dog by stepping to one side and gently offering the back of your hand to the dog's nose. Sniffs may tickle, so don't jerk your hand away. So let's begin petting your new friend. Do you know how? Of course. Dogs like it when you gently pet underneath or on the side of their neck. Oh, oh, that feels good. So begin slowly stroking the dog's neck. Do not try to pet the dog on the top of the head. Ask the owner the dog's name and use your indoor voice when talking to the dog. You can startle a dog by speaking too loudly. When you're finished visiting with your new friend, thank the owner and the dog and walk away. Isn't it fun to make a new friend? Yes! So what do we do when the dog's owner isn't around? Stay away! Perfect! Now you can spot a friendly dog and you know how to make a new friend. So let's meet some more dogs. There are small dogs, big dogs, furry dogs, and working dogs. Working dogs are dogs trained to do a special job. They may be police dogs, firehouse dogs, guard dogs, search and rescue dogs, and leader dogs that help people. And then, there's me, Rufus. I like to help. Kids, here's Officer Craig to tell you a little bit more about working dogs. Kids, if you see a working dog, respect them by leaving them alone. Or at least ask the partner if it's okay to approach. They're working, and if you try to pet them, it may distract them from their job. You never know, they may be on a special mission. What if? Yes, what if? What if a dog barks, jumps, or growls? What should you do? <laughs> if the dog is barking, 
It may be unhappy or upset. Understand, the dog is telling you to stay away. What if you're playing ball and the ball goes near a dog or in the dog's fenced area? Remember, we stay away from dogs that are alone, so ask the owner to get the ball for you. You may have to wait, but you will be safe. But what if we do all of this and an unfriendly dog still bites me? What should I do? Great question. We're going to let another friend of ours, Officer Kevin, tell you what to do if an unfriendly dog bites one of your friends. Kids, if you see a dog attack one of your friends, do not go near the dog and do not try to pull the dog off of your friend. Instead, walk to the closest adult or the nearest telephone and dial 911. By dialing 911, we can send help to you. And remember, if the dog comes close to you, stay still, be a tree, or act like a log. Kids, by learning good manners around dogs, we hope you never have to call 911. So stay safe and remember my name. Rufus. R is for respect the dog. U is for understanding how dogs communicate with people. F is for friendly dogs that want to be your friend. U is for unfriendly dogs who do not want to be your friend. And S is for stay away. Or if a strange dog comes up to you, stay still. Be a tree or act like a log. See ya kids. Are great. Dogs are fun. There's things to know when you get around one. Not all dogs you meet will be gentle and nice. If there's a dog you don't know, give him some space. Don't want to shove your hand in his face. Whenever you reach for a dog, you gotta think twice. Never start with a dog or make him feel fear. Like poking his eyes or pulling his ear. Don't yank on his tail or shout at him and suddenly leave. Don't be hitting him, kicking him, poking him, jabbing him, sneaking up behind him and suddenly grabbing him, especially when he's eating or lying on the carpet asleep. You never want to tease him or do stuff that would not please him, like to hug him or to squeeze him way too hard. And if you only just now met him, don't reach out and try to pet him. Ask his owner, will she let him? And be safe and on your guard. If you come across a dangerous pup who bears his teeth and comes running on up, snorting like he's going to attack, and you think that he may. Keep cool and calm as you can be. Stand your ground and act like a tree. Hold that pose until he goes away. A dog can fast outrace you, so just turn and let him face you. Don't run or he will chase you and might bite. He can tell when you're scared stiff, so relax and let him sniff. And once he gets a whip, he'll walk away and you're all right. But if you're tackled by a dog, just stay calm and act like a log. Lie there still and wait until he's gone. Be kind to dogs, don't yell or hit. If you understand them, you won't get bit. And when you skateboard, bike, or hike, or jog, if some strange pup comes up to you, what's the proper thing to do? Never, no, not ever, snuggle a dog. That's Matt's best friend. 